All right, this is Lana. I forgot I start. I'm starting a new recording for the last one, so this will be episode twelve, maybe. Um, so I'm just kind of doing ship designs here. So, um, just going to what am I building here? A frigate. <laughs> now the frigate um, tends to be somewhat safe if you have fighters, but if you don't have fighters, you're f you're gonna lose frigates. So may want to consider. Now I do like building fighters uh, with my fleet, so I'll probably build with that in mind. Um, I also want to make sure here. I make sure I have warp drives on these. I'm need to get around faster. Uh, and then, let's see, two plasma pods, a shield generator, and instead of that we'll do the barrier fields. Probably spent way too long trying to line that up, and then I have room for one other thing, which is, uh, um, will be armor. Again, always want both shields and armor, and if you have, if you have to choose between one or the other, like you don't have enough space, grab the shield first, but then fill up with some armor. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Mark. Oh, the part. Why is this not letting me type? Spacebar is not working. Oh, now it works. Okay. Mark 2, and then um, 0 for kinetic, 2 plasma, and then one of each. Sorry, uh, if you don't know, it's connect beam missiles, shields, and armor, and then a plus if it's uh, needs resources, <laughs> which I sometimes forget to properly check that. And let's see, root. Oh, this is the old design. Sprout. Uh, which we replace with these. Dylan's and seed fighter uh, pulse cannons I think is my best kinetic weapon we'll replace the shield generator with the uh, barrier fields oh Except for they can't put warp drives on them. Do I build a warp drive on this thing and not have defenses? If I don't put defenses on, I lose these things. I take another weapon off, then it's harder to keep up with my fleet. Or, or deal damage, but... I feel that works. I might try it. I don't know if that is actually a good plan. Um, yeah. It's Okay. I fully complete my traditionalism tree, even though it's probably not, wasn't always a grace plan. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the 15% decay for individualism. Otherwise, um, I can look at my discounts. Fairness is a little late for that. Uh, Eureka is, is at what, 50, 30 research? Oh, temporary, oh, this, they change this. I 
kindness is not going to help for maybe the constructors. And homeworld influence. Yeah, no, individuals for the 15% decay is going to be a big bonus because I'm very wide. Um, and then it kind of leads to some of the... This is actually probably a good second tree. Covers. I always have to look because things change so fast. Like, every time I look at this tree, they're different. Uh, let's, let's recruit. Do we have any leaders? I want to find someone genius because I just want to get... Not, I haven't been optimizing this. You want to put this on cooldown and then uh, go back in here and look to see if you have a genius, which is a, a book. Uh, I don't see any genius. The next one, I, I can't play a diplomat because I'm at a permanent war. Um, income is increased as a governor. And then stat-wise, everyone's kind of bad. <laughs> All my commander ships have been destroyed except for one. I haven't got that tech though. Okay, I'll, I'll mess that later. I, I, going to take some time at some point and just optimize governors or maybe no I'll do a whole video on it or start a video on it now nah, wait till the next series because governors are only cool if you could do like or the leaders are only cool if you could do like diplomats and stuff I've locked out half of the stuff that is cool with them Okay, so my score is bounced back a little bit, but I've allowed the Manti to get a little fat, uh, further. So I'm actually strong as I've ever been. And maintained, uh, you know, keeping the Manti down uh, quite a bit. Let's see. Go here. Uh, shipyards, let's use the automate tool. Automate and uh, shipyards building trunks will do. Tr I might actually tell all my shipyards to. I might go through them all. <coughs> all right. Clear their queues. And. If they have the stuff, I wanted to get the, uh... Uh... We'll get a few, quite a few of these going. Here... Destroy that. Yep. Okay. Well, let's... Alright, then we got... Probably put that on repeat. <laughs> and put that on repeat. And put you on repeat. Now uh, we'll do the cutdowns. Cutdown later. Probably do seed. Okay. We that back to probably using a rally. Okay. I've taken the the big target. Now I need to need to get 
a few fleets down here. Stop whatever's happening over there. Um, because Manti are kind of hanging out there. I still have some ships around here to take out. But I, I'm willing to take a little bit more risk now I got some defenses. Okay, I might just click the eject button here. Actually, I should have done the rally point before that. Too late. Send these up here, but uh, mostly to combine, but then take out their fleets up here. Three fighters, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Uh, let's eject. It's actually odd that they eject from the opposite direction that they, uh, will launch when you first build them. This is the part where uh, I've mentioned like hit points doesn't really matter. I mean, well, th my ships are really weak, but uh, going on pretty soon, you start getting a point in the game and just Everything starts one-shotting everything else. So the investment keeps increasing what you have to do. This is not a strong enough fleet by itself. So let's go back here. Go up here. Uh, oh, I have the independence. What does this do? Oh, it's just purely a prototype. Does it have any special effects? Points, more hit points. Oh, it's just basically. I'm gonna have a survey ship for the entire game. <laughs> I'm just about. Let's get those going again. Got it all wiped out. Okay, so I have this um, maxed out fleet here. It'd be a waste to send it all the way to the south. I think this is going to go right towards the capital. If not, it's going to be... I just start just beelining for their capital to take them out. Okay, let's see. I'll just decommission them, so I've got to run them back. Oh, I should have killed the military starbase here. And come over here, take this out. I don't know yet, but I'm completely kicking out of my space. Um, more shields. Two gas. OK. 
Okay, that and start the invasion. Eliminate this guy, take this planet, move this up here, combine. And just a random fleet around here. Okay. Hey, conquer the sweet took some losses. Uh, let's come around here. Join this, take these two fleets out. this out with anything that might be enough there so I have a military star base slips through generators I don't have the Xylon defense or some of the better things here I need to actually control this because I want to, these guys to pop out a certain angle Okay, yeah, I'll take that out. Hopefully I don't lose too many, I mean I'll lose the entire fighter line because that's just happening the entire game. A lot of it is just because I build fighters with all my sh shippers that don't build anything. That was a good trade, but it is what it is. I think it's safe not to have to micro putting these guys back into the. Military Starbase. Let's see, we got my economic Starbase and the culture Starbase. Yeah, I would say probably ideally put whatever can get done in two turns and just have a lot of them. Because then you don't just grow and grow and grow your uh, production queue or your stored manufacturing. And this is probably important for multiplayer because you, you ideally want to efficiently use up all your production and your resources as often as possible. 
Anyways, I, I have like a ton of money that I could expend right now because I have all this Durantium. Yeah, I need to knock out star bases, so let me kick them out. That's, that's not going to work. I have, what, 50 turns left in this Everwar? Rate some of these AIs have been dropping. That's gonna be over by then. But I think that's gonna be where I stop for tonight. Uh, just recap. So I've I've recovered my military. I've taken the uh, wait what? Oh, the jeez. AI. AI. This is actually what. You want to do for the uh you take the transports and you keep some of them with your fleet and you send it to invade and then you take your other fleet and you sit on top of that and that'll prevent the ai taking stuff back like it just did so right now i'm um knocking out star bases try and push them back um for the most part this is uh taking care of although i could lose this fleet in fact i probably will lose that fleet uh if i don't call it back um you can abandon the siege they don't regenerate instantly um if you need to and they have enough to invade with one, really? Are you trying to annoy me? Oh, gee. one more hit. Fine, whatever, I'll get you next turn. But, uh... That is going to be where I stop, and this is turn 166. It's my usual spend forever doing 10 turns. But I micro a lot. I explain a lot. It's not as much of a slog or grind. You can actually fly through turns pretty quickly um, if you need to. Some people get whole games in in the time I take to go through 30 turns. Just because I, I micro stuff and then I try to uh, write stuff down, things like that. So, well, hopefully it's fun. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Have a good night.